You should be familiar now with the force extension graph for a spring, provided uh, it's not gone beyond its uh, limited proportionality, which is often the elastic limit. Now, if we look at uh, maybe rather than this particular object here, but rather material instead, here I've got some copper, what we could do is rather than looking at force, we can look at the force per unit area, which is our stress. And rather than looking at the extension, we could look at the extension relative to its original length. Uh, and therefore we can look at the strain. What we have now is a stress strain graph and if we have copper perhaps we might have uh, this elastic or uh, proportional region where if you stretch it a little bit and then you let it go it goes back to the original length. Now we get to a point where suddenly it no longer behaves plastically, sorry elastically, it then behaves plastically and what we get is something a bit like this up to a certain point at which it breaks. So on this graph, what we have are a couple of key features. First of all, we have the region where something behaves elastically. Now, things which are elastic, you stretch them, and then they go back to the original shape when the force isn't applied anymore. But we get to a point here, which we're gonna call the elastic limit. After that elastic limit, if you take the force away, an object won't return to the original size. Now, for example, here we have a spring here. Uh, when it's behaving elastically, it just goes back. If I extend it too much, what we find is that it doesn't go back to its original shape afterwards. And we now have something which is behaving at times plastically. We also have a point right at the end up here where we reach the ultimate strength of that material. And this one here is the UTS, which stands for the ultimate tensile strength. Now this is really a simplified version. There are lots of other things here like the yield point, perhaps the limit of proportionality that I haven't included. But the important thing is that the UTS is basically how strong that material is before it fractures.